Hi, I'm Carla Buderak and welcome to Behavior Communicates. Have you ever had a parent raise their voice to you or act in a disrespectful manner? You're the reason my son is failing. It happens, but because we, number one, don't want to engage in the disrespectful behavior just like the parent, and number two, we don't want to escalate the situation. We tend not to set any limits for this behavior at all. And what happens as a result? We let people get away with awful behaviors. We tiptoe around them and simply dread the next encounter. Well, I have a solution for you. I'm going to show you how you can teach parents to treat you in a respectful manner and still maintain a professional demeanor while you do it. It's a two plus two for parents. You might remember this tool in a video where I've shown you how to use this strategy for non-compliance in children. So here's the formula. When a parent approaches you and starts talking in a disrespectful manner, you do this. You give a choice and a consequence, a choice and a consequence. Just make sure that you give the positive one first. So here's an example. The parent comes in and starts talking to you in this disrespectful way. So you say, excuse me, I really want to hear what you have to say, but I need you to speak to me in a respectful manner and this conversation will continue. If you continue to speak to me in a disrespectful manner, this conversation is over. I had a teacher recently tell me that she used the 2 plus 2 with a parent who would call her almost daily and scream at her on the phone. This teacher told me that it took one time using the 2 plus 2 with this parent, setting those limits, and the parent has been pleasant and respectful ever since. Now you have an effective tool to use with your next angry parent. Set those limits and move in a direction that will help the child that you both love. Thank you so much for joining me here at Behavior Communicates. Remember, the more we know about how to help the child or the students that we love, the better quality of life they will have. If you like this video, sign up for Behavior Communicates and you'll get my weekly blog and video and other resources and information that I only share with my subscribers. Leave a comment below and please share it with your friends, parents, teachers on Facebook, Twitter, and all your other social media. You take care and I'll see you next time.